on to you scorpios so you scorpios have the three of cups the six of wands and you scorpios have the strength card so these three cards right here for you scorpios oh so <laughs> um okay so this speaks to the three of cups speaks to reconciliation somebody wants to apologize to you and the six of wands and the strength card right these two cards are about how you don't care <laughs> you scorpios don't care um this person's apologies this ex's apologies this friend's apologies that may have betrayed you you accept their apology but you don't accept them back into your life and um y'all don't want to hear that y'all don't want to hear that they're sorry because the damage unfortunately right has already been done to you scorpios where this person treated you in such a way where <coughs> they were a total jerk they didn't have to be doing half of the stuff that they did and they have said but yet they did it anyway they said it anyway and when you Scorpios was trying to have they, their back, they wouldn't be paying attention to it. They just was trying to get on you Scorpios' nerves. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the Six of Wands is about moving forward. And the Strength card is about not really accepting their... Like, you, ex okay, you accept their apology, but you don't care to. You don't want to... You don't want to like get them back in the like next to you. The ideology of having them around you and being cool with them is is nil. It's done. You don't want to have anything to do with them because you Scorpio see that every time that they come around, they cannot and they will not be able to help themselves. All of it, they're going to act cool at first, but all they're going to do after a certain amount of time, whether it's a couple of hours, a day, two days, a week, or a month, they're going to betray you because they can't. They're incredibly jealous individuals and jealous. And one thing that I want you Scorpios to understand is jealous people are usually jealous without a real cause. They're, they have an uncontrollable envy to them where it causes them to do things and think of things in ways that are not really rational, that are not common sense, that don't really actually play itself out as the way that they per they perceive it in their minds, in their heads. But their perception of how they see uh, their rightful perceived position of how they've been done wrong is distorted it's warped right so they looking at you scorpios like you scorpios probably done did something to them that's wrong or it's not fair and every time that they would hang around you whether it's a romantic a, a past romantic interest or whether it was a friend or family member something like this this person got close enough to you where you knew this person, you trusted this person, but this person didn't know how to actually have your trust and do right by your trust, right? It was about doing everything <clears throat> that they could to disempower you when, when they were hanging around you. It was more it was it was more about needing to break you down because to them their life wasn't fair compared to yours. Not even realizing that Scorpio is a trauma sign. Scorpios go through a lot of drama, a lot of trauma. There's a lot of there's a lot of discomfort that comes along with with Scorpios. There's a lot of um, needing to reinvent oneself. And part of the reason why a lot of you Scorpios reinvent yourselves is to forgive people. Sometimes it's to is to make sure that you don't go crazy is to make sure that you scorpios don't say or do something that really going to put you in a crazy situation for real for real and so a lot of you scorpios are like okay it's time for a change and again the ten of swords you scorpios been around the block more than a couple of times you know what a what a what an insanely jealous person looks like 
So, I mean, you, you forgive them because you're not holding on to a grudge or any of that type of stuff. But you understand that you can't have an envious and jealous person around you. They, 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 they don't think, they don't perceive reality, reality in a healthy way. They don't. Because when people are very jealous of you, Scorpios, I, I bet a lot of you Scorpios are probably asking yourselves, well, what's going on? And y'all, and, and see, Scorpio is the zodiac sign of jealousy. Scorpio is the zodiac sign of jealousy. Cancer is the zodiac sign of envy. Slight difference. Jealousy is about jealousy is about coveting what a person has, and envy is about going to great lengths in because of the jealousy. So it so because you want what a person has, it's about it's about envy is about thinking that the world is not fair in and in, in the sense that willing to go to great lengths in order to correct things the way that they want so for instance for instance a case of jealousy excellent example of jealousy and envy is selena with selena's um uh book fan club manager right about how <coughs> about how <clears throat> How did Selena, and Selena was fine too. Lord, Selena was fine. But how did Selena get get up, who was an Aries, so they shit that planet uh, Mars with you. How did, she, how did Selena get up on out of here? Selena got up on out of here because that jealousy and the envy of the person who standing right next to her, the crazy book club fan, fan club, person the manager one of the managers of that the boutique and stuff I, I was i was doing a research to that yesterday right i was doing a knowledge to that yes to, to that yesterday did you know that the person bought bought a, a long distance hole puncher if you know what i mean and then and but when when selena was like no you can't be part of this that person who went and bought a long distance hole puncher. If you know what I mean. If you know what I'm if you understand what I'm talking to you about in Morse code. Because I can't say it here on YouTube, right? And I'm respecting YouTube uh guide YouTube's guidelines. But but then what happened was is is this. Then when Selena was like, okay, you can you we can be cool again, the person returned a long distance hole puncher. They returned it. That kind of jealousy and envy, fam, this is what I'm trying to tell you, Scorpios. You Scorpios are making an excellent decision to stay away from individuals because, and specifically stay away from this jealous hearted individual because that's dangerous hanging around people who are jealous of you, yo. Because they don't be perceiving reality. They have a warped sense of reality. They're, they're warped, they're sick, they're warped. So the Ten of Swords, Excuse me, the Ten of Pentacles represents they're, you know, they don't want to be left out in the cold. They know that you Scorpios are doing your thing and your life is probably better than theirs, and they don't want to be left out in the cold. So that's that's why it is that the Ten of Pentacles happen. And you Scorpios are like, yeah, you're right, things are good for you. And that's why things are gonna stay good for you, Scorpios, because you don't trust this person. You don't trust this person at all. You want nothing to do with them. You understand the you you Scorpios got the message. Every time that this freaking weirdo is around you, they're gonna try to sabotage anything that you've got going on. You Scorpios can't even around this person, around this, and y'all know who it is too. Let me know in the comment section who you who it is, who it turned out to be. Let me know. Let me know your stories. Appreciate it if you would, and also smash that like button to help this uh, channel and the video really blow up seriously. At least give me at least a hundred likes. Let's see if we can get a hundred to one hundred and fifty likes. But the point that I'm trying to make here <laughs> with that is a point that I'm trying to make here with that is <clears throat> that's why things are gonna stay good for you, Scorpios, because you understand what time it is, and you understand you can't have jealous-hearted people around you. And the five of swords is they told you that they didn't want you to be around and you took that seriously you scorpio's actually gonna have them stand on business 
and the justice card. You made peace with it. That's another thing too. You Scorpios made peace with not having them around because they wasn't they weren't doing you any favors. <laughs> they wasn't doing you a good being around you. They was literally bringing you Scorpios down. You Scorpios was climbing higher. Y'all were reaching new heights and you got this weirdo whether it was this family member, this friend or this romantic interest bringing you down. Like I said, they couldn't even be happy with you telling them good news. They were trying to make you feel down, even with good news. The King of Swords and the Knight of Wands now is about how it says, you, your heart's cold. You you Scorpios are getting better and better and better at, at understanding how people move, how they think. And you're understanding what moves to make. That's what power is about. Power is about knowing how to maneuver in the streets, knowing how to maneuver just in general. That's what the show, the the, the show in the series. That's what um. That's what uh, I'm getting all these notifications, but that's what the show in the series is about. It's about knowing how to maneuver in the maneuver in the streets in a boardroom maneuver anywhere it is that you go under you know what i'm saying having street smarts right having street smarts understanding when you walk like for instance understanding when you walk out outside don't just look straight and then that's it watch your own back keep your head on the swivel look around see what's going on behind you see what's going on don't allow other people to shame you or to make you feel bad or to peer pressure you into only walking and you only walk one way you don't look behind you you don't look to the sides you don't see you don't survey the area you don't check out what's going on around you you just in your own world you understand what i'm saying because it's the same thing when it comes to the interaction or this type of scenario scorpio like you see the landscape for what it is you see what's going on around you you're minding, you're paying attention to your surroundings. Like, you see what type of time it is with, with this weirdo. They, gonna, they, can't, they can't stop themselves from being envious of you. And the Ten of uh, Cups is about how your life is good. You don't have to worry. You, you good. Stay away from this person. You eating and you eating good and things are well with you, with the people who you know that you can trust and hang out with people that you know that you can trust. Stop hanging out with envious people. Other than that, this reading is amazing. I'm just trying to enlighten you Scorpios to understand that there's some people around you who, who low key, who low key got a jealousy and an envy problem. <laughs> Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. The Sun card, the Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and then you Scorpios have the Unalive card, which is Scorpio. The Sun and the Eight of Cups is about how you see them for who they are. And that you can't bring, you can't allow these people to be in your lives. They will ruin your life. The king of the, the king of pentacles and the four of wands, you know what time it is, like I said before. You see them now for who they are, that they're not meant to be trusted. And then last but not least, you finally cut whatever kind of connection you had with them. And if they come around you with that nonsense, you're going to have your head on with them. You're going to be aware because you know, you Scorpios know that y'all can't trust them in the first place. So they're not going to be able to get close to you, Scorpios, again, because they've ruined the relationship. Other than that, you Scorpios have been doing amazing. Have an amazing day.